Uh, what's going on guys? Um, welcome back to this channel that's all about architecture, engineering and construction. Uh, first of all, um, long time, yeah? It's been months, I think just a few months of not posting content on this channel because uh, previously our channel was hacked. So we've been working around the clock all the, all the past couple of months we've been working to recover the channel. And we've, we've tried several times appealing to the YouTube support team to help us recover the channel. It has taken quite some time, but um, finally, we are back. So um, those who had subscribed to the new channel that I had created, um, please uh, know that this content will continue to be posted on this channel. And all the content on the, on the channel that we had created temporarily, we are going to get it from there and we are going to bring it onto this channel. Okay. Otherwise, thank you very much, guys, those who are subscribers. Thank you for keeping on. Uh, I know the subscriber count kind of decline which is okay still uh, we are going to still grow it again um otherwise uh thank you very much thank, thank you very much guys for watching thank you for supporting thank you for following all the returning subscribers you're very welcome all those who have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel that's all about architecture engineering and construction yes yes so um in the next few months uh we are going to start we are going to embark on a project uh, where we're going to be constructing a three-bedroom house a three-bedroom tiny house okay so we are going to literally be documenting this project yeah because those who have followed me on this channel for some time you know that we've been breaking down for you the costs of building the cost of construction in this country we bring we've been bringing for you different content surrounding construction and architecture and engineering things to do with that okay so on this project specifically over the next couple of months this time uh, we are going to be sharing with you the costs in real time so that you can actually see how they match with the ones that we're providing we've been providing on this channel okay so if you haven't subscribed uh, please you better subscribe because you don't want to miss out on that okay because at some point in your life you'll actually need this information i'm um, also along the journey i'll be sharing with you different tips on how you can minimize costs of construction of course at every stage of the building on how you can minimize the, the, the costs of construction and also achieving uh, superior quality yes um we're also going to be sharing with you uh, different tips on the different things that you need to consider at every stage of construction because um I think our construction industry in Uganda is a bit not very organized, so um, if we can fill in the gap of at least uh, guiding people with what we know on how to prevent most of the different disasters that happen during construction, the walls, the, the peeling of walls in different houses, you know. And also considering that this is going to be a flat roof, yeah, I know a lot of people have questions about flat roof, which some of you actually prefer to call um, hidden roofs. Uh, this house having a flat roof, I think it's going to be fun for you because you're going to see the proper way of how we do these uh, these flat roofs that will prevent them from leaking in the future. Also, the way we do foundations and the different construction practices that we apply to pre to prevent the peeling of walls, which which I think is literally the most common problem in Uganda in houses in Uganda at least. Uh, the biggest percentage of the houses I've been in this country, they have that problem. The walls are sweating and peeling off and you cannot have a permanent solution unless you dealt with it from the very ground stage of doing the construction, okay? So please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, continue and subscribe, okay? Um, and so without wasting a lot of time, uh, we are going to, uh, as, as is our practice usually, we are going to first break down for you uh, this house, the way it is, how it is arranged, how many, bedroom how many bedrooms does it have, which other spaces does it have apart from the bedrooms, how have we designed it, what is the size, what, is, what are the sizes of the spaces, things to do with that, okay? And the different considerations we've done in the design, okay? Um, otherwise, um, I hope you really do enjoy the video and uh, let me take you through uh, the design of this house. Uh, so looking at the design of the house, as you can see on the screen, this is basically the, the design of the house, okay? Uh, we have 15.2 meters here and we have 30 meters here. So that is roughly a 50 by 100 plot that is in feet, okay? And this is the footprint of the house where the house is sitting, okay? Anyway, let me show it to you in the 3D format so that you can be able to, to understand it very well, okay? So um, looking at the plan in the, in the three-dimensional format, um, we have our access road over here. Uh, this, is, this is a 50 by 100 plot, which means we have uh, 100 feet here, we have 50 feet here, okay? So um, looking at it from this perspective here, we have a carport here, a car shelter. Then we have what I believe I think is one of my favorite spots on this house. Uh, that is a gazebo for outside living, for outside living area. 
Okay, um, this is basically what the house, the house looks like on the outside. It's a very simple design. So what we really considered in this design is that um, to make it as simple as possible. Those who have done design before or those who have constructed before, you know, um, that the more corners a house has, uh, the more costly it's likely going to be. Okay, so we decided to keep it as simple as possible and not have too many corners. And also, you can see from the plot coverage that it's literally covering a very small percentage of the plot. So we have literally a backyard garden here. Uh, um, the client is going to decide what they are going to use this space for, but they preferred to have a backyard um, a backyard garden or something where they can do some little small farming. Okay. Um, anyway, um, the frontage is really small, just about 10 meters uh, of the front. And um, so I want us to look now specifically at the planning of the house, okay? Yeah, so after applying the cut, um, I want us to look at the house in this sense. So you can see that um, as you enter the house from this point, uh, you have a living room. Uh, you can look at the living room, uh, very small. Yeah, this is really a tiny house. So this is not something that you'd really call your dream house, okay? This is just a simple house. Let, let's say it could be a house for a starter, a starter home or a starter family, okay? Uh, then uh, there is a small dining here, uh, just enough for about four people, four to five people. Then we have a small kitchen over here, tiny as it is. Okay, so one of the things that we consider actually to, uh, one of the things that you need to consider uh, when you want to minimize costs as much as possible is not investing in large spaces. Okay, so the major driving factor on the design of this house is literally cost saving. Okay, that's why you're seeing us. We are using the concept of open plan. You know, we're having spaces as small as possible, but of course really functional. Like you see in the kitchen, we have a space that is dedicated for the fridge right here. And then also under the staircases, you can see that there is a small store that is right under there, under the staircases, okay? So um, the stairs that go to the first floor are right here, as you can see. And then we have a bathroom here that is being shared by both guests that come around, yeah? So they can you literally come from the living room and go to the toilet and do whatever they want to do. And then also there is a bedroom here on the ground floor okay i want you to notice that these windows as you can see here are actually strip windows they come straight uh, just above one foot above the above the ground which is about 0 0.3 meters and they go straight to the beam level okay so they are really really high windows though they are narrow in terms of width and then also we have the closets here we have the closets here and also we have um a small and then we also have another source of natural light that is coming through here okay um, this is a concept these are concepts you really sometimes copy from pinterest here and there um you know to give more life to the house to give more life to our projects okay so basically as you can see uh, when you go outside the kitchen there is a small shade at the back of the kitchen uh, just in case you want to use uh, these ordinary cooking methods like you want to use a charcoal stove and you can't use it inside this house you can go into the back shed and you can do your cooking from there Okay, so um, as you can see, the spaces are not really big, they are tiny, but just enough for a starter family, okay? And then if we happen to go to the upper floor, yes, so if I could take you to the upper floor, yes, um, the upper floor, uh, we have a very nice and large balcony over here, which is, I think is one of my, one of also my favorite spots here, okay? Uh, the balcony is here and the balcony is literally accessed by anyone in the house okay it's not dedicated for the master's bedroom or dedicated for anyone else it is basically a dedic uh, a general living area okay where you can sit in the balcony and enjoy the cool of the breeze okay then also uh, so the master's bedroom here so while you take the stairs let me just take you from this direction while you take the stairs from the ground floor and come and climb over here um, you reach at this point and there is your master's bedroom not really big um, not really big but just enough and functional and just like the bedroom below uh, the master's bedroom also has uh, these walk by closets and also has this window light that is coming in between the closet and then also the the master's bedroom is self-contained and then also there is another bathroom over here on this floor uh, that can be used by both this bedroom and any other guests probably who are chilling from the balcony and they'd like to do a short call and don't necessarily have to go downstairs okay so another bedroom is right here um on the upper floor so basically it's a three bedroom house simple as you can see it then looking at the design of the roof uh, it is what you would prefer to call uh, some people call it flat roof others call it a hidden roof yeah i prefer to call it a flat roof okay 
it's not necessarily flat but the roof actually slants at a very small gradient so that it can easily dispose the water off down to the ground okay so the design is very 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 simple we have a slab on top of the of the balcony as you can see that is how simple it is now um the reason for doing all this and having a gazebo here the plan is to plant um some uh, climbing plants okay that will definitely climb over here and they'll definitely cover this roof of the of the parking okay that is going to take quite some time but that is the whole plan okay i'm going to show you the rendered version this is just a raw version that has not yet been rendered i'll give you a walkthrough video then one of the other sensitive things here is literally the backyard now the backyard is not unless you decide to but it's not really a place for recreation and all that it's a space that is going to give you more extra functionality let's say you want to plant your greens you want to plant your vegetables or you want to do some rearing of probably um chickens of course if you're in a residential area you might not be allowed to rear chickens because they're going to make a lot of noise nuisance for the neighbors and they might have to complain so you could rear things like rabbits or you could do just some planting here and there you could plant your fruits and greens and vegetables at the back of the house okay this is basically something that is giving you more functionality on a small piece of land then for the parking not really that uh, adequate but you can park two cars here one under the carport and one just behind it okay i'm going to give you the rendered uh, version of it that you'll have to look at it okay there is a lot of space that has been left in the sides of the house to give you that three to give you that all-round circulation around the plot of the house okay so um all that being said that is basically how simple our house is now uh, we are going to be discussing the costs of building this house we are going to be discussing also the very steps okay and this is in real time as the construction is actually going on over the next few months okay so um please stay tuned and enjoy the video and also give me your comments on what you think about this about this design of course there's, there are more designs we're going to be bringing for you on this channel now that we recovered the channel from the hackers uh please uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good time